Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aoi and welcome back to yet another Minecraft mod tutorial. You guys seem to love the last one that we did, so I thought I'd bring you another one. In today's tutorial, however, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the bees on your Xbox One Minecraft. Yes, this works with any of the Xbox One styles, so it's being the one the One S and the One X. Before we get into the guide though, it would mean a lot to me. You guys could hit that like button. It helps get this video out there. So if you really want to support me, hit that freaking like button. Share the video with your friends to teach them how to get this mod as well as subscribe for all sorts of mod tutorials. Without further ado, let's get into the guide already. So first things first, you're going to need to complete a couple prerequisites. These steps you need to have done for any of these mod guides that I make. So if you've seen any of my other guides on Minecraft mods, you probably already have these steps done. The first step is just simply going into your settings, going into display and sound, video output, video fidelity and overscan, going over to the overscan border tab and making sure this apps can have a border tab is unchecked. Now basically this, if you do have it checked, it will mess you up later on. So just go ahead and get it unchecked right now. Uh, basically, it'll just like allow you to get into other apps. Speaking of apps, though, uh, you're going to need two. Now, if you don't have these two apps, there's being file downloader and UFO uh, dot transfer unified file organizer transfer. Uh, you can just download them on the uh, Microsoft store on your Xbox. It's as simple as that. But anyways, once you get them downloaded, then we can start the actual process of getting you this mod. So the first real step is heading to this website. I'll link it in the description so you can just click on it if you're watching this guide on your Xbox. Or you can just go ahead and type it all out right now if you aren't. Now basically once you get to this Mediafire website, what you're going to want to do is hover over the download button. Instead of just clicking A on it, hit the start or three lines button to open up this little tab. And then hit A on the copy link thing. Then what you want to do is leave Microsoft Edge and go into File Downloader. Now, believe me, this app looks a little bit sketchy once you first load in, but I mean, it isn't. I've been using it for all my other guides and it hasn't even been, like I haven't even noticed a single flaw. Now, basically, what you want to do is this is what it will look like when you first load in. Now, you'll want to go up to the very top and hit A on this little three lines tab and it'll open up all these things. You want to hit download from URL. Then what you want to do is hover over the source URL tab, hit A, hit B, hit the start button, and then hit A on paste. Then hit on the local storage folder, and then hit A on the uh, little like arrow pointing down in between the destination path name box and the source URL box. But anyways, hit A on that little arrow, and then hit A on start. Now basically this will install the actual mod. Then what you want to do is hit A on the three lines button, go down to storage, uh, go into local storage. Now once you get into the local storage thing, what you want to do is find the B add-on by team infinite minds.mc add-on. Now it could be anywhere within this folder for you. You probably won't have as many files and folders within here, but because I've been doing all these other mods like the ultra realistic texture pack, skyblock, or the gun uh, resource packs and whatever. Uh, I have a lot of files within here. If you want to know about any of those guides, I do have tutorials on my channel. So check them out if you're interested. But anyways, back to the actual guide. What you want to do is hit A on those little tick box and then go over to the three dots at the very bottom right. Hit A on it and then go into this rename little button hit a on it and then hit rb and then type in dot zip or z i p then hit b and then hit ok now basically that'll turn your file into a zip file allowing you to open it once you do turn it into a zip file though hit a on it and as you can see there will be a b and an r within here hit the little tick marks on the b file and then hit this little copy button if you're having issues with these buttons all you have to do is hit uh, a on the three little dots and it'll open up a subscript for you to see what the buttons mean but anyways hit a on copy then hit b to go back into the local storage hit a on this and what you want to type in is b's space 
B and then hit start and then go down to the three little buttons again and go all the way up to the top to create a new folder then within that folder hit the little three buttons if you want the subscript and then hit a on paste now that'll paste all the behaviors for the bees within this file now what you want to do after this is hit b again to go back into the local storage find the zip file hit a on that and then hit oh whoops that was the wrong thing now nah, you'll want to find the zip file for the bees add-on not the actual guns add-on but anyways hit a on the b add-on and then hit the tick marks on the r1 and hit copy what you'll want to do once again after that is hit a on this little local storage tab and hit type in bees and then a capital r then hit start to go back and then hit the three uh, dots at the bottom right and hit new folder once again then what you want to do is hit the paste button once again to paste all the resources into this file then what you want to do is hit b and then your home button and then go in to the next tab that you'll want to be opening and that'll be or app that you want to be opening and that'll be ufo organizer unified file organizer dot transfer ufo dot transfer it has a lot of different names now basically if you followed the first prerequisite step that i gave you you should have this little gear up in the top right if you didn't do that step correctly you won't have this gear so go back uncheck that box and then meet me back here and have this gear once you do have this gear though or if you already have it uh go up to the very top and hit a on the gear and then it'll open up this little tab all you'll want to do is hit a on open in file explorer now this will open up file explorer where you'll see a ton of stuff but what you'll want to do is go across the top as you can see i'm moving up there using just like my joysticks now basically what you want to do is hit a on packages then what you'll want to do is find 25974 megascopes.universal file now if you have it sort by name it should be on the very top like mine but if not it could be anywhere within this file uh top bottom left or right mine just so happened to be up at the very top now what you'll want to do is hit a on that and then hit a on local state then find the b's r and b's b thing now what you want to do is hit uh the start button on the b's b1 and then hit copy on it then go back into packages and find the microsoft.minecraft uwp console once again this could be a top bottom left or right mine just so happened to be right here now once you find it hit a on it go into your local state games con.mojang and you'll you'll probably only see minecraft pe and minecraft worlds here now what you'll want to do if you don't have behavior packs or resource packs you'll want to go and hit the three dots at the bottom and uh click this new folder tab right here and then type in uh first i mean we'll do behavior pack so b e h a v i o r underscore packs now um then just hit start make sure you type it in correctly otherwise it won't work so just get that all right I already have the folder, so I'm just going to not create another one. But once you do have that done, hit A to open up the file. Hey guys, so once you load into the behavior packs file, what you want to do is, uh, well, first of all, you won't see Crazy Craft BP. Uh, there should be nothing there for you. So, uh, yeah. Once you do load into it, though, all you want to do is hit the three little dots at the bottom right to open up the subscript and just hit paste. Now, what this will do is paste your B's behavior pack within the uh behavior pack folder within minecraft then what you want to do is hit local state and then go all the way back to packages within here you'll want to go into 25974 megascopes.universal file and then hit a on that go back into local state and then find your b's r folder hit the start with three lines button on your controller and hit copy go back once again into packages Find your Microsoft on Minecraft UWP console folder. As you can see, mine is still here. 
you should still be in the same area, but it might have moved around. Just find it and hit A on it. Uh, go back into the local state, games, com.mojang, and uh, create the resource packs file if you don't already have it by going uh, to the three little buttons to open up the subscript, hitting new folder, and then typing in resource packs the exact way that it is spelled right here. The resource underscore pack. Oh crap, I got rid of the underscore packs um once again i'm not going to create the folder because i already have it just make sure that you have it typed in the right way with no spelling errors and the underscore separating the two words otherwise it won't work now once you do have the folder created hit a on it and once again you won't have these two uh, files in here just hit paste at the very bottom and it'll paste in your bees resource pack. Now we have one final step and then you guys will finally have the bees on your Minecraft Xbox One. I'll cut to you guys once I'm in Minecraft because believe it or not, that's where this step actually takes place. I'll be right back guys, peace. All right guys, so once you are finally loaded into Minecraft, believe it or not, you'll want to hit play and then create a new world, or you can add it on a previous world that you already have. I would just create a new one because it could mess up some save data. What you'll want to do is go into the resource packs and obviously tick the box that forces your friends to download it. Hit A on the B add-on and then hit A once again to add it to your active packs. Then go into behavior packs and hit A on the uh, behavior pack B file. Then go into the game settings and turn on experimental gameplay because you will need it for this mod. Now, that's just for now. Hopefully it won't always be needing experimental gameplay because it does add a little bit of lag, but it is not a lot. Now, after that, just create a new world. I'm going to quickly just change it to creative to show you everything now. Alright guys, I'll get back to you once we are loaded in. Be right back, guys. Alright guys, so I went ahead and loaded into my creative world with the behavior and resource packs mod. And as you guys can see, uh, we have a lot of bees. Now, this is probably one of the best ones I've made so far because Xbox doesn't have this update yet. It's currently only with Java and I actually haven't seen anybody else make this guide yet. So, uh, this is pretty cool. And this has the bees, the, comb uh, the honeycombs, the honey and everything. Uh, I just spawned in a bunch of bees to just kind of like show you. Now, uh, if you did enjoy the video and it did help you get these bees, make sure to leave me a like. Share, subscribe if you're new for all sorts of these mod guys, as well as comment down uh, what you think of this mod and what other mods you want me to make a tutorial on next. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your mods. Peace.